Hey guys, a Duke and Dude here. Uh, I wonder if anyone's uh, prepared for the surprise announcement. Because I am. I mean, this just came out of the blue. And, um... Well, let's see what to expect. There's been a lot of speculation in regards to what characters might be uh, included in the... In this new fighter announcement that's going to happen. Hmm, personally, I mean, it can go any which way. I can probably think that, uh, well, I know there's a lot of speculation right now. Considering how this is October 1st, there's a lot of speculation that it might have to do with a wonderful 101 character. I'm not sure which one, and it's really hard to say if uh, the news is true or not, or if the, news, the, the rumor is true. Excuse me. Um, personally, I mean, there's also a lot of speculation. There are fans that still want Dante in it. There are fans that still want, uh, well, <laughs> other characters that they've been, like, practically begging Sakurai to, uh, to include. Regarding Gino, let it go, guys, please. It's not worth it. I know fans will probably get triggered if there's going to be another Fire Emblem character. That's going to be... Oh, let's just hope that doesn't happen again. Because, you know, people were really salty when Byleth was announced. Um... Crash Bandicoot, that would be another good one. Because, you know, you can't go wrong with mascot characters. And Crash Bandicoot was a big mascot during the PlayStation era, but then, of course, kind of jumped ship when you think about it. Because it just went like back and forth, became full-on third-party, and started making games for multiple platforms instead of just, um, just sticking with Sony. Like the same way with Square Enix and, uh, and the Final Fantasy games. Which were originally like Sony exclusives, but now certain Final Fantasy games are now available multi-platform. So they can go either way. What other characters um, do I want to see? If they could pull off Laura Croft somehow, that would be great. Um, another one. Well, maybe I was thinking maybe a Killer Instinct character. Like I don't know if a Fulgore or, or Jago might be might be a good pick. Hypothetically, I mean, you never know what could happen. This is just... The whole scenario could be, like, really up in the air. Uh, hmm. What would be another good pick? Oh, speaking of which... 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who will it be? Who will it be? So I have some of the current characters. No. I've been hearing this stuff for years. Oh man. Now it's Minecraft's turn. Oh <laughs> son of a The most this was part of the supposed rumors that I've been hearing for like years, but I wasn't really sure if they were going to confirm this, but apparently it's true. Uh, I don't know, I really tried to get into Minecraft. It has its following, yeah, but there's just something about it that I just can't really adapt to yet. That must be the, the palette swap for the, uh, for the Minecraft character at this point. Technically speaking, this means this is another Microsoft character, so... And it makes sense because, you know, I guess Sony... Uh, so <laughs> zombie spawns in. 
Yeah, more swaps. So what I'm saying is that Sony has like a... Enderman. Sony has huge competition from Microsoft and Nintendo who are pretty much all buddy-buddy at this point. Oh god. I don't know what to make of this. I'm surprised. I couldn't believe it. I thought... I thought the rumors were total BS, but apparently... This is now the case. Kind of reminds me of that comment that Sakurai said that every time he mentions, like, a game that he played, then the fans are going to immediately speculate that a character is going to be included in Smash. Oh my god. Hey, Sakurai. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Even he didn't think this day would come. Oh, God. I don't believe it. I still don't believe it. So does that mean that Lloyd Irving is going to be the next ca the next character from Tales of Symphonia? まあ、魔法的な何かと勘違いしてるんじゃないですかね。マインクラフトってどういうゲームだか知ってます。もう駆け引きとかを成立させながらあのゲームをスマブラに落とし込む。そりゃ無理でしょう。だから、はっきりビ
I know there's going to be more information afterwards. So we'll just have to tune in. Well, I guess that's it for now. Take care, you guys. Wear a mask. Stay safe out there. Until next time. See ya.